How's it going guys? It's Derek Swain Jr. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. We're going to get straight into it because what we're talking about today are the fees that you're paying to, to your broker every month. Now, let's, let's just say this. Don't pay any fees. There's brokerages out there that won't charge you any kind of fees. My broker only takes 20% out of my commissions when I have a transaction. Whether if that hurts him, whether if that's a good or bad thing, I don't know, I'm not a broker. I don't know how these things work. But what I can tell you, that it has been a phenomenal benefit to my business. Not having fees allows me to do the work and not have to fear about owing anything. I know I owe when I get the deal. And that has made my business so much easier and so much more of a breath of fresh air. So make sure you guys are finding a broker that's not in your pockets. I tell people all the time, get your money. If you're a real estate agent, get your money. Get as much money as you can, but also know in your mind that you have to reinvest in the things to help you grow. So don't pay any fees. I don't pay any fees. One thing I constantly preach on my videos is that I do all the work. I don't care where you're at you do most of the work. So for me, it's constantly developing and getting better for myself. But that's also with understanding that it's up to me. My broker gives me 80% of my commission, but it's always up to me. I have to pay for my equipment. I have to pay for my subscriptions to keep me going, to keep me active in this real estate market. So eliminate those fees. Those fees will add up. Now, if you're doing it part-time and you have a job that, that that you're able to pay for those fees, whatever works for you. But if you're a full-time agent like me and you just, you know, you get a deal every so often, you need to save that money. You need to make sure that there's not little amounts of money that's being picked away because 100, 100, 150 bucks or however much you pay monthly to your brokerage, that could be spent on things for your business. One of the biggest things I use are ads. Ads are your way of marketing yourself. The money that I could use for a brokerage or, or any extra money that I'm getting, I put it all back. Any extra money that I get, I put it all back into my business. I understand it's a process. It takes money to make money. It's just that simple. It takes money to get to where you wanna go. but you also make money on the way up. So it's just being able to just make sacrifices. Take the benefits and the opportunities that your brokerage gives you and make a way. I am so thankful that I found this brokerage that I'm at. I don't have to pay any monthly fees. The only thing I need from my broker is an office and a printer. That's it. Everything else is my responsibility. I do my own prospecting. I do my own marketing. I do my own editing. I do my own videos. I do my own uploads. I handle all of my own social media. And it's not that I can't afford it. I just understand the passion that I have and the things that I have to do to get to where I want to be. So don't pay any fees. Stop paying these fees. They need you, not the other way around. Brokers need us, not the other way around. So don't forget that. Now, if you're just an agent that's, you know, not so passionate, you're in and out of the business, of course, a broker don't need you. But those agents that, that has a passion, that's going at it every day, I don't care if you've never done any deals, but if you know you have the passion, you have the heart, you have the drive to, to grow and get better, a broker will, will eat that up. A broker will appreciate that so much. I got four deals in my first year, and I know there's people that's gotten far more. But just getting that alone has put me in a position to where I want more and I want to grow and I want to get better with this business. Nothing else I want to do other than help people and help people grow for themselves. But there's nothing else I want to do is help people in real estate. Don't pay all these fees. Don't get ripped off. You want me to tell you what you should be paying for? Marketing, leads. That's what you should be paying for. Do your research. Make sure the things that you are paying for are worth it. Make sure the lead the lead generators that you're investing in are things that's going to bring you back business. You know, do your research. Everything that I've invested in and everything that I've paid for, best believe I was on YouTube. This camera that I'm on right now, I was on YouTube. How does this camera work? How does this camera benefit and how this camera can do what I needed to do for me? Research is very important. The most beautiful part about research is that it's free. So don't forget that. 
research. Make sure you have a clear vision, clear intention on what exactly that you're trying to do. Save your money, man. Don't pay all these damn fees. Don't pay all your money to a broker who already got money, who's already okay, who's doing business. Get your money. In my brokerage, the way it works is we go off transactions, not off how much money you make. So when you first start out, you are at 80%. You get an 80-20%. You give 20% to your broker for every transaction. For five transactions, not every. So for five transactions. With my at my brokerage, we start at 80%. No monthly fees and only 154 paid to broker per side at closing of escrow. Now, this is the start. You have to get zero to five transactions to go to the next one, which is 90% of your commission. And there's still no monthly fees. You only pay your broker 10% of the commission and there's still no monthly fees. Now this is between six to eight transactions. On your six to eight transactions, you're not paying any monthly fees. And when you do start to pay monthly fees is when you reach to 100%. And that just makes sense, right? If you're paying your brokerage, I mean, if your broker is giving you 100% of your commission, the only thing you have to pay for is 129 bucks a month. Trust me, if you're reaching up to nine plus transactions so after your eight transaction you get to nine transactions in a year you get 100 percent of your commissions and then you have to pay 129 bucks a month which trust me if you're getting that many deals you ain't worried about no 129 bucks a month trust me so get your money go to a broker that's going to provide you with the funds that's going to give you your proper splits so that you can grow and so that you can be better and that's just how it works i, I think it's pretty obvious at this point if you ask me, I don't think you should pay any fees. I don't care how small your brokerage is. You are the brand. You are what makes your business. So whatever brand that you're with, even if you're with a mom and pop's real estate broker, if they're giving you your full commissions, and they're giving you a lot of your commission and no monthly fees, sounds like a winner to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys continuously follow me on my journey because I'm going to grow and I'm going to get better because that's just how it works. Take it easy.